We're just gonna start by renaming our comp, settings in 1920 by 1080 and press OK. Then we're gonna double click and select our new image and we're going to right click to pre-compose. I will leave a link in the description. Then we're going to search for radio waves and select image contours. We should see something that looks a little bit like this. Really, really cool. Then we're going to change the lifespan to 3.5 just so that it's a little bit smaller on the radius. Then we're going to change the base width. We want it a little bit thicker than the start width. And we'll also, of course, change that color there. Any color looks nice. And select OK. Head over back and select Glow, Stylize Glow onto our layer. And a couple of other effects, such as CC light rays as well. We're just going to drag that center to the center of our heart, just so it looks a little bit cuter. We'll play that back. Yeah, that looks really good. All right. Then we're going to head back on up to our heart layer and change the frequency to 1.5 and the lifespan, we might change that to 2. We'll see how that goes sometimes you just got to play around with it a little bit um yeah no 3.5 looked a little bit better and we might change that base width a little bit thinner because it's going to be zoomed in on the eye so it'll be a lot smaller and one for the frequency yeah that looks pretty cute all right once you're happy go back to your project and select your face layer or the layer that you want your heart eyes to be on we're going to drag that in press s to scale and just drag that handle all the way command d to duplicate that and we're just going to make a mask so press g on your keyboard and just click and drag to get curvy lines all across just press m on your keyboard you should have two separate masks we're just going to make sure those masks are both subtracted for the eyes to sit underneath. We're going to select our bottom layer now with the hearts. Then in order to edit it, we're just going to scale that down. Press S on your keyboard and bring that all across to where the eye is. Just center that on the eye. If needed, scale it down a little bit more just so that it fits into the pupil. If you're not happy with the way it looks, feel free to change some of the settings by heading back to your effect controls. Once you're happy with your heart, you can duplicate that layer using Command D or Control D. And we're just going to reposition that second heart onto the other eye. And once you're happy with the position, press Shift to select both heart layers. Sandwich them in between your mask layer and your original face layer and play that back now for you if you like this tutorial and it was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye